Late last year, I made a video unpacking some of the best free and open source applications available for you to download. And a lot of you seem to really love that entire concept and rightly so, because of course, we all love free applications, but even more than that, a developer making an application open source and therefore sharing all of its coding online is in my opinion, such a cool thing to do. And so with that being said, I went back to the drawing board and found 10 more incredible applications that are once again, both free and open source. You ready for this? Let's do it. And so kicking off the list today is Telegram. And this is obviously an application that needs very little introduction, which makes it all the more impressive that it's actually open source. But for those who don't already know, Telegram is an instant messaging application, similar to Facebook Messenger or WhatsApp, but in my opinion, it's actually a far better option. It's equipped with as many, if not more features than most other popular messaging services, but even more than that, it has a really solid and customizable design with beautiful animations, and this makes the entire experience of using the app really pleasant. And team, this is an app with over 1 billion downloads on the Google Play Store alone. Many more if you take into account the App Store as well. So the fact that it is also open source is amazing. Second up today is Magisk Manager, which is without a doubt the best app for handling anything and everything that is related to rooting your phone. Not only is it the tool that you can actually use to unlock root access in the first place, but it also allows for the installation of what are called Magisk modules, which are basically the things that actually let you modify your phone. Now, Magisk has undergone a number of changes over the past couple of years. And so if you're running the latest version, you'll actually need to source any modules outside of the app. And whilst the Magisk hide functionality has also since been disabled, there's actually an even more robust solution to hiding root from the apps installed on your phone. And this is called Zigisk. I created an entire video on how to use this feature properly. So if you're interested in rooting your phone whilst still being able to use security and banking apps, then I'll link to that video up in the cards and down in the description below. And then perhaps my favorite Magisk module of all time is the incredible Quick Switch. And fittingly, this app is also open source. Quick Switch has received a lot of airtime on my channel over the past few years, but for anyone who doesn't know, it's a module that lets you replace your phone's stock launcher with any supported third-party launcher. That means you can continue to use gestural navigation without all of the animations and fluidity becoming super janky, which is normally what happens when you try and use a third-party launcher without Quick Switch. Keep in mind, at the time of making this video, there are not that many supported launchers that do indeed work with Quick Switch, but when you find one that does work, the reward is incredible. Okay, after that is Ivy Wallet, which is a beautifully designed application designed to help you stay on top of your budgeting. As far as budget manager applications go, Ivy Wallet features everything you need to track your expenses, but for me, it's the design of this application that impresses me the most. It's just a clean and visually pleasing UI. And so the fact that it's open source as well means a lot of developers could really dive into the coding and learn how to implement their own amazing UIs. And so again, hats off to the developers of Ivy Wallet for jumping on board the open source train. Now, if we're being completely honest, the UI and design is certainly not the talking point of high shoot to i but if you're at all a fan of customization, then the functionality itself is fantastic. If you haven't heard of it, this is an application that allows you to make screenshots a lot nicer looking by automatically placing them within beautifully made mockups. Now you do need to find and download mockups outside of the app for any to actually appear within the app, but most of the good ones are available via the High Shoot to our Telegram channel. So like everything else mentioned in this video, I'll of course leave a link to that below. But if you're someone who wants to post home screen setup screenshots to your various social pipes, this is absolutely an incredible application you should definitely start utilizing. Now, given you're watching this video, which is all about free applications, then I'm willing to bet you're gonna love this video sponsor, Morning Brew. Okay, so if you're anything like me, the first thing you probably do in the morning is open up your various social media applications, mindlessly scroll for however long, and then you get on with your day. But just recently, I actually signed up to Morning Brew's free daily newsletter, and now I'm able to get up to speed on the latest tech, 
and finance and business news in a super efficient five minute read. And the articles ain't super dry and dense either. They're actually really witty and informative. Like this one, all about Meta's shares crashing nearly 22% was a great little read. And I've actually found myself becoming super excited for the next day's articles. As I said, it's completely free. So if you're into tech or finance or business like I am, there's really no reason not to sign up and it only takes 15 seconds to subscribe. So head to the first link in the description to get signed up for free. All right, from there we have Aurora Store. And believe it or not, this is actually a third party client of the Google Play Store itself. It's actually got a really clean and minimal UI, which a lot of people will most likely prefer over the Play Store itself. But what's even better is that it packs in some handy additional features to level up its functionality even further. So you can blacklist apps so they don't appear on the update page. You can use device configurations to unlock apps normally blocked on your device. And you can even log in, browse and download apps anonymously. So without question, a really solid open source alternative to the Play Store itself. Here's a pretty left of field one, Vector Camera, a third party camera application filled with a plethora of fun effects. The design of the app itself is pretty dang basic if we're being honest, but once you tap the color palette icon down here, you'll be greeted with over 30 very unique overlays that will take your normal looking images and videos and transform them into these super techie abstract ones. You can also create your own custom overlays if you want, so a pretty unique camera app worth checking out. All right, next up is Ad Silence. And this is an app that got a feature on the channel in this month's top Android apps video, but it's super helpful and open source. So definitely worth mention in today's video as well. Put simply, if you're a Spotify or Tidal user, but you're not using the premium versions of either, then Ad Silence will mute your device's audio whenever an ad starts playing. And that's it. It's also supposed to work for AccuRadio, Spotify Lite and Pandora. So pretty handy stuff. Second to last is Calendar Trigger, another really useful application that you can use to automate actions on your phone based on calendar events. So for example, you can set it up so that your phone will automatically switch to silent whenever a work meeting starts, or you could set a specific notification to sound just before some sort of event starts. All of that sort of stuff can be set up using this app. Now you can't set up super advanced actions, so keep that in mind, but for anyone needing this really specific sort of functionality, whilst also wanting the app to be open source, well then Calendar Trigger is the one to go for. And so finally today we have Pulse Music, a beautifully designed offline music player. In terms of functionality, the app features playlist support, theming options, a sleep timer, plus a bunch more. But as mentioned, the design is the main talking point for me. Super clean and minimal, which is just my style. And like every other app on this list, it's of course also open source, which makes it a seriously viable option to use as your everyday offline music player. But that's it, 10 of the very best free and open source applications here in 2022. If you have any other recommendations for free and open source apps that were not featured in this video or the last one, then definitely let everyone know down in the comments below. And perhaps I'll make a third episode at some point in the future. If you enjoyed this video, then a sub would be greatly appreciated. But aside from that, thank you all very much for watching. Thank you to Morning Brew for supporting the channel and I will catch you later.